hey my people welcome to a new tutorial with Jason solutions and in this video you're going to learn how to join attributes so what you can see here in my map i have the nairobi sub counties and if i open the attribute table so you can see what we have here you will see that i have two fields one shows the name of the sub counties while the other shows the name of the county so you can see in all of these fields it's nairobi county and these are the sub counties in nairobi we have about 17 sub counties so in this video we want to learn how to join attributes so assuming this is the data that we have but we have some other data but it's not in a special format it's not a shape file it's just an attribute it's just an, a regular table let's say it's an excel format table but you want to add that particular data to our shape file so how can we do that so assuming we have data like number of roads that's the data that i'm going to use but it's mock data so assuming i have a table that shows me that in this sub county we have this number of roads however it's just a table it's not a special data it's just a normal data that is it's not special but i wanna be able to add it to my shape file here so how can I bring that particular data here? That's what I'm trying to show you today. So we want to have a column of the sub counties, but also we want to have another column showing the number of roads here. Now, let me show you my Excel table. So this is my Excel. And as you can see, I have here the same sub counties that I have in my shape file, but another column that's here is the number of roads. And remember, this is just mock data that I generated to show you how to join. So one thing you should know is that your data that you have, we're going to join based on a particular field. And in this case, it's our sub counties. So that means how our sub counties are written and spelled here should be exactly the same as in our attribute table you cannot ha you cannot have a space that's not supposed to be there you cannot have different capitalization for example you cannot if here in kibra it's capital k you cannot have it in qgc as a small k because it will refuse to join they should be very identical that we can be able to join because we're joining based on a field value now so the thing is you cannot just use it in as an excel format you have to make it a csv file so make sure you save it as csv okay mine is already in csv that is comma separated values now we can go back to qgis and add this table here i can see my attribute table is open so let me just close it first so now i want to add that excel table here since it's csv anyway and we're not trying to visualize the data we just wanna add it to our sub counties shape file so I'm just going to navigate to where my table is and drag it to the map. Here it is. You just drag it here. Now you can see it. And if I open its attribute table, you can see I can see my sub counties and the number of roads. Yeah. So now. How do we do that so there is a feature in the toolbox that does that so it's called join attributes by value so you search for join and you can only already see under the <coughs> vector general we have join attributes by field value and that's what we are going to use today so you can double click it and whenever you open a tool in the toolbox area here you can see we have the description of what this tool does you can see it takes an input vector layer which in our case is going to be the nairobi sub counties and it creates a new vector layer that is an extended version of the input one 
with additional attributes in its attribute table. So in this case, our additional attributes are going to be the number of the rows, and the additional attributes and their values are taken from a second vector layer, which is our CSV table. And an attribute is selected in each one of them to define the join criteria. Now our input layer is going to be the sub counties and the field we're using is the admin 2n that is the field that contains the sub county names and it's the same field that we're going to use in our second input layer which is the number of rows you can see it's already selected and we're also going to use the admin 2n so they have the same field names that's what our join is going to be based on now here we can select the fields which we want to copy into our Nairobi sub counties. If you choose not to indicate anything, it will copy all. Or you can choose, for example, what I really need is the number of roads. I don't need it to copy again the admin 2 end because it will be a repetition. So you can just stick on that and say OK. And then on the join type, we are going to use one to one where it takes the attributes of the first matching feature only and that's going to work for us because in each table we have only one version of it so it's going to be one to one assuming you had you wanted to match one value to many values in the other table you would have taken the second option which is one to many so for in this case you're going to use one to one you can take to discard records which could not join but that totally depends on you if you want to have a prefix for the joined field you can put that and here you can select choose where you want to store your joined layer for me I'm just going to leave it in as a temporary layer and then obviously want to open the output after running this algorithm now we are ready to run this process so you just click on run and wait. Let's close it. And I'm going to turn our previous sub counties. Let's see what's in this joint layer. Now you can see here we have our number of roads. Now our shape file is extended. Now we can see both the name of our sub county and also the number of roads inside it. So that's basically what we were trying to do this video. So assuming you have data that's not special in nature and you want to add your already existing special data, you don't have to create a new shape file. You can just do the join. So that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for joining me today.